In this video, I'll teach you how to look at your users, how to create your users, how to disable a user, how to reset passwords for a user, how to manage roles, how to manage business units for a user, and how to search for your users. So let's get started. First things first, in order to create a user, you'll click Create right here, and then you can type in that user's name, their email address, and click Verify to verify that email address and a notification email address, which is still their email address, a username, which I would put their email address in this username box. You can leave external key blank here or put a number or whatever combination of numbers and letters you want here. Choose the time zone for the user, choose the culture code for the user, choose whether or not that user is an API user and give them a temporary password and verify that password. And then click save and once that's done, that user will get an email with their temporary password and a link to create a new password in order to log in to Marketing Cloud. So we're back here at the main users page. If you need to get back there, just click my users right here. If you want to disable a user, you'll have to at least click on one users checkbox here. You can click on multiple if you'd like and you can click disable here. We'll click on somebody that's already disabled here and click disable and it says one user is selected. Are you sure you want to disable the selected user? You can click OK here, but I'm going to click cancel since that user's already disabled. What disabling does is it takes away access for that user when it comes to Marketing Cloud. They're not going to be able to log in to Marketing Cloud. If you want to reset a password for a user, Click on that user's checkbox and click reset password. If that user is logged in, the user who's logged in at the time of the password will lose unsaved work. If you want to continue, you can click continue. I'll click cancel here since I don't really want to reset a password, but that's how you reset a password. If you want to manage roles for a user, once again click their checkbox and click manage roles. And you can choose the business unit that this person is assigned to and you can click edit roles right here, which takes you to a list of default and custom roles that you can give this user. I'll click cancel here since I don't want to change that. And then you can click permissions here to edit their permissions, which gives the user further access to Marketing Cloud beyond what the role gives them. And then when you're done, you can click save. And we can go back to our users by clicking my users. And if you want to manage business units, click the checkbox next to your user and click manage business units. And you can choose that user's default business unit and you can choose associated business units as well. And then click save when you're done with that. And if you want to import users, click the import button here. You need to make sure you have a list of users in a CSV file and then you can choose your update options. You can choose to add new users and update users that already exist, add new users but don't update users that already exist, and update existing users but don't add users that don't exist. And you can choose your source file, select your file type, and determine import completion settings. You can send a notification email to yourself whenever it's completed. And then you can click start up here. And you can show all of your users, your enabled users, and your disabled users. And then you can click in this search box here and search for any specific users that you want and click search. And that's how you navigate the My Users tab under Account Settings inside the admin area of Email Studio.